while I get this stuff set up, can I tell y'all, I met one of you guys in person for the first time and I was like, mind blown. Okay, let me tell you how it went down. So I was, uh, me and Wendy were going to church and I honestly had not been to church in like a while. Where I go to, if you're in Chicago, I go to New Life with Pastor Hannah. And so they had like a little portion where they were like, you know, hug your neighbor, tell them blah, blah to my neighbor. And she goes, oh, you look so familiar. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I have no idea where you could know me from because I don't go nowhere. And I don't ever think that like people would know me because I don't tell people like, oh, I do this, like even at work. So she was like, oh my gosh, you look so familiar. And I was like, don't know. And then she was like, YouTube, like, do you do YouTube? And I was like, yes. Yeah, she knew me from YouTube. And she was like, oh my gosh, I got to tell my, my daughter uh, um, that you go to New Life and that we ended up like later in the service we ended up praying together it was so nice but that was something i had been like curious i'm like i wonder how this ex experience is gonna go like the first time i meet like a subscriber it was the most holy sanctified way that the saints are watching okay y'all i'm done filming myself i'm on the walking pad i just sat down and i was in a doom scroll if you don't know what that is it's just basically like you get caught up on TikTok, Instagram, whatever, and you're just scrolling and you look up and you're like, I've been scrolling for two hours. What? So I was like, let me get up and get on my walking pad. Look at my makeup. I'm sorry. Fresh. It looks like perfection. And let me show you what I use. I, luckily, I have these products right here because I was not about to get off. Um, the air just came on if you hear it. I have on this product combination right here and i told y'all i'm going to la i also have an event this week this is a combination i'm taking with me and i'm wearing to the event because the way my makeup still looks perfect i'd remember sorry my nose started running i'd remember exactly what setting powder i use um i think it was the laura mercier one but this is a prada refine primer and then I'm using the Prada Reveal Skin Optimizing Foundation. And this is in the shade, let me see, because these Prada foundations are like removable. DW80 is the shade I'm wearing in this foundation. I'm getting ready for work. I'm working from home today because the events that I'm going to tonight, it's with Pattern hair like Tracy Ellis Ross and then fashion fair and then also this um Chicago based brand called um Koi I think it's called like, what time does this event start I didn't write it down it starts at six it's only two hours long it's from six to eight which is my cup of tea I like an event get in get out go home it's lunchtime y'all I told you I would show you my Kanye's workout plan this is what I've been eating for lunch. It's like a, like a chili soup hybrid type of thing. And I have to say like, this might not work for some people. Like I know some people get bored eating the same things all the time, but it works for me. Like if I just know like this tastes good to me, I can eat it every single day. I don't know if you guys can see that. See, I'm not about to spill it. It's like onions. It's literally one can of black beans, one can of pinto beans, a whole thing of ground turkey, a can of like the little green chilies, a can of diced tomatoes, and then half an onion chopped up. And then I just like season it how I want. She got thick overnight. But I say I do like a cup and a half. I just kind of eyeball it. A little cornbread muffin. This is like a little jiffy muffin. I'm gonna just put it in here. In my boy, really Kanye workout plan lunch for today. Oh, hey girl. Girl, why you like you are passing away? Because I am. What's wrong with you? Oh no, it's not COVID, but it's just really hurt. It's just 
She said, it's something like her. It's a cousin. It's a sister. It's a relative. Girl, it's winning, too. It's winning. Like, why I took over my whole voice? It's winning. What are you making? I know your house smells good. I'm making a smoothie, girl. Uh, well, still. It still smells it good. It does smell good because this is a French vanilla smoothie protein. Makes it taste like ice cream. Do you have fall candles out and shit? Um, I have one fall candle out. I don't really like them that much, though. They give me a headache because everything, they put so much, like, pumpkin and cinnamon in yes, every like fucking sugary. thing. Yeah, and, like, I can only burn them for, like, a minute.
hair and the makeup they just look so good like this hair like this is giving truly long a bob a lob and then these little silky tanks i have from zara that i wear down i have who cropped trench i always get asked about this because i'm looking outside right now and i see like so many people walking around with like hoodies and like little jackets on this is my favorite little jacket have my earrings on i'm very minimal when it comes to necklaces and stuff like that Punch you down a little bit with the dollies like this Ooh, I shouldn't have did that because now I know no because I y'all I love a blazer this is a wool blazer I got from Zara it is um old though this is like I got this on sale from Zara last year freaking bad like these shoes are great but the Louboutins like they hurt every single time and I always forget always I gotta come, come up out of these little that's your shoe baby Shoot. Anyway, that was nice my makeup held up so nice do you see my face okay let's not talk about the pimple that was not supposed to be there but is there do you see how good my, first of all, how good our hair looks. We are getting ready to go get our wax. This is the start of the travel maintenance marathon. We always feel like a new woman when we leave the wax. Um, I told y'all it had been two months, so I was like, not really. <laughs> Used to it. It was a little breathing going on in there.
did our morning skincare. Also, sorry if that vent is loud. I need all the lighting. But we're about to do our hair oiling for the week. I do this before wash day. Kish scalp oil. Yeah, hair and scalp oil. That's what it looks like. And then I'm using the this Jamaican black castor oil from IQ Natural that I get off of Amazon. And I use both of these. I oil my scalp and I oil like the ends. And this is like a like think of it as like a treatment for your hair that you can do weekly. Oil. And I'm just gonna go all through my scalp. I used to not like be very vigilant about this. Like last year I would do it like only when I remembered here or there, not this year. I felt like, y'all remember I didn't have no edges earlier this year? Yeah, not again. And I love how like thick and full my hair came in after me wearing protective styles all summer. And I'm trying to keep it that way. And one thing I was very, very good about doing over the summer with my hair challenge, which is free by the way, that I have linked in bio for you, um, or not in bio, we're on YouTube, link down below is I was oiling my hair regularly. Then I go in with the Jamaican black castor oil. Just get a good amount on your scalp. And then I take my little scrubber. You can use these to wash your hair, but they're also like a stimulant for your scalp as well. And I just, Oh, let me show TikTok. And I just go in and like massage the oils into my scalp and stimulate the scalp with those oils. And then slowly make your way up. And then I take oil in my hands and I rub that all over my ends. So I'll do like two droppers of the Kish oil. Oh. And then I take some of the Jamaican black castor oil too in there. Just until it like looks like an even mix. like a little clip like this go a little mini claw clip Oop, it's not holding clip it over here yeah or right here that works what's up going to get our nails done i go to um in Chicago, this new nail salon just opened up called Salt Mara. Salt Mara. I think that's what it's called. I'm not doing very good at like vlogging you guys um I tried to vlog in there but my nail tech I could like I don't think she was uncomfortable but she had just saw I was recording she's like oh you're recording and she moved out the way so I didn't want to be holding up my camera or have it in her face or whatever have her anxious about it while she was doing my nails but anyways this is what I got on my nails I don't know if you guys can really see I get a French but I don't ever get white I feel like you can see it better in the sunlight. I'll probably show you when I get in the car. Hello. Hi. Are you checking out the Yeah, Niara. Yeah. You're all checked in. Would you want to add anything to your service today? No. Awesome. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. We also did not vlog the facial because we wasn't here kikiing and talking about everything, but. 
her skin she said she got a lot of stuff out i think she got like a little not a peel but like a mask like a glycolic type of thing on me it is it's cold oh that's a cute dog game that was fun but now it's time to pack i leave for la in a few days and i still don't know what i want to wear to this youtube event which is very unlikely me usually i will have thought this out but the thing with this event is it starts at 9 30 in the morning and it lasts until what 4 30 or 4 then there's like a brief intermission and then there was another like mixer that I was invited to where it's like a smaller gathering of like creators and different brands like apparently Fenty Beauty brand is supposed to be there. Like it's really good opportunity to like chat with these brands one on one, especially going into holiday. So like I thought of this dress last night. I don't know why I hadn't thought of it. This is I bought this when I was in Georgia um earlier this summer and I literally have only worn it one time I thought I was gonna have worn this just like so many times it could be a very cute like what did I get from Amazon I have these in silver you guys saw these earlier this week and I wore them to like the fashion fair event so I have them in silver, so I bought them in gold. I did buy two pairs of shoes off of Amazon. Um, okay, I think these are immediate no. I like them when they have like this like little, like it's almost like a silk taffeta. Don't think I wanna like the beige. Maybe the black though. I'm just really so ashy. Should I just put some lotion on? Cause I won't be this ashy in my life. Okay, y'all, I think I've actually decided on a look. I'm gonna show you. I am gonna bring the other black dress just in case. Banana Republic navy blue cropped cashmere sweater. I got this little silky skirt is from Zara. And then the shoes, I forgot I actually had these. These are from Charles and Keith. It's these like little low, can you see, kitten heels. I think I like these earrings a little bit better cause they have like silver and gold in them. They're like a little something interesting, a little pop of something. Like, I kind of like these. I kind of like these. Okay, I feel like this might be it. I like this. 